Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Barnes and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Star Surgical. Before joining Star, I was the ophthalmology consultant to the U.S. Army Special Operations Command. I was in the position to evaluate the implantable columnar lens and its performance in some of the most elite units in the military. We've implanted thousands of ICLs in Green Berets, Army Rangers, paratroopers, combat divers, freefall parachutists, in addition to many infantry, artillery, and tankers. For all of these individuals, their vision is critically important. I recommended and I performed ICL procedures instead of LASIK and PRK on some of our most elite soldiers because of the unique demands of their position and the fact that in every way we could measure performance, ICLs were simply outstanding. After my time at Fort Bragg, I joined the team at Star Surgical because I was excited to be part of bringing the phenomenal success of ICL vision correction that we experienced for our military personnel to all people seeking vision correction in the U.S. and around the world. I personally believe that Evo ICL is the highest quality option for improving patients' vision for those who meet on-label indications. It's my hope that this series of videos will help you make an informed choice with your doctor when considering your own vision correction decision. A great deal of work has been put into the development and refinement of the EVO ICL lens and procedure. I'd like to help you better understand the science and effort that was put into making the EVO ICL a premium vision correction option. Well, the first version of the star implantable columnar lens, referred to as the ICL, was implanted in 1993. Since then, there have been many improvements. The EVO ICL is the latest version to come to the U.S. The early generations of the ICL delivered exceptional visual outcomes, but required an additional pre-implant procedure to ensure eye health. In 2011, a new design, the EVO ICL, was approved in Europe, and that eliminated this pre-implant procedure, making it quicker for the patient and the surgeon. Today's EVO ICL surgery is the most advanced of its kind, thanks to Star Surgical's proprietary columnar material. Columnar is a combination of collagen, which our body naturally produces, and polyhema. This special columnar material helps it achieve biocompatibility, allowing it to work in harmony with your natural eye. EVO ICL received FDA approval and became available in the U.S. in March 2022. ICL procedures have been performed in over 75 countries, and so far, over 2 million ICL lenses have been sold worldwide. In a patient satisfaction survey, 99.4% of patients said they would have the procedure again. Naturally, the role of research and development is to continue the development of increasingly safe and effective solutions in medicine and medical devices. The EVO ICL that is FDA approved in the United States is the latest generation of the originally approved ICL lens. With that early version of the ICL, patients needed to have an additional pre-implant procedure to create small holes in their iris to facilitate the movement of the fluids in their eye. The most notable improvement made for the EVO ICL is the addition of a small port or opening in the center of the implantable columnar lens. This small but important change facilitates the natural movement of fluids in the patient's eye. As a result, EVO ICL implantation requires one less step for doctors, which makes the procedure quicker than with the previous generation of the lens. Typically, a surgeon will take 20 to 30 minutes to implant the EVO ICL lenses. Well, STAR provided the US FDA with safety and performance data related to the columnar material, the lens design, the manufacturing and controls, and of course, the clinical trial results. The US clinical trial of the EVA ICL that began in January 2020 studied several hundred patients with myopia and myopic astigmatism who were implanted with the EVA ICLs. The patients completed routine checkups so that STAR could obtain and evaluate clinical data on safety and performance. STAR reported the clinical data from the patient's six-month evaluations to the US FDA. Based on the safety and performance data in the submission, FDA announced the approval of the EVA ICL in March 2022. In this U.S. clinical study of the EVO ICL, the majority of patients were seen 2020 or better without glasses or contacts at their last visit. What is important to note is that the U.S. clinical study closely matched the findings from the global published literature for the EVO ICL that was assessed in a meta-analysis. I hope I cleared up some of your questions about the EVO ICL procedure and the FDA approval process. 
If you still have more questions, check out some of my other videos on EVO ICL and how it can change the way you see the world, or go to the EVO YouTube channel. Use the link in the description to find an EVO ICL doctor in your area.